up guys? Journey to Elite episode 4. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey <laughs> yeah. What's going on today guys? Um back here again with another commentary and um this is Journey to Elite episode 4. Um so today I'll be doing a deadlift. Probably I'm doing a volume deadlift, 6x6, six six, going up to a 120 for 6x6. Six six. And I'm going pretty light today, just because I'm still sick from the previous week. Very, very sick. Um, just because Monday I didn't go gym, I did not feel like shit. Uh, I, feel, I felt like shit, I did not feel like shit, that's what I'm saying. I felt like shit because... From, yeah, last week, I was tired as hell. And then the following day, on Tuesday, I tried to get back on my program, which is my strength legs, heavy legs, you know? I couldn't do it, because I was still immensely sick. I did 137.5 for, 137 for a 3x3. Oh, I only did two sets, actually, for 137.5. And then I felt really taxed, I couldn't do it, changed my workout, did a more high, a high volume, a high volume workout, so I did high bar squat for 5x5, five five, front squats 3x8, dumbbell stiff leg 3x12, and I did seated hamstring curls for 4 sets of 15. After that I did some hanging leg raises for about 3 sets of 12, and that's about it. So, <coughs> I'm feeling like demo session doing this this week because I'm trying to do a, just every week I do my squat, bench, deck, squat, bench, deck, that's how I'm doing it. Just to make sure that I am still working out consistently, even though this week I only worked about three times. But last week, which was my worst week in the world, I only worked out once, which was my film day. And that's what I did. And that's all I could do, because I was sick as hell, stuffy nose, my legs are sore. And, um, but I mean, you know, I was got to deadlift today. And. Tired! <laughs> this video you know what I mean you know what I mean so anyways going on with the um, the video um, so my film day was meant to be on Wednesday but then I did on Thursday just because I was still very very sick <coughs> I did a bench Close grip bench, vertical bench, with superset of withstanding HP dumbbell, incline dumbbell bench, superset that with dumbbell hammer curls, lap pull down, superset that with rope push down, and then I did pull ups with dips. So that was my Wednesday workout. <sighs> What's up, guys? So I've just finished my fourth set of deadlifts, 120 kilos. <laughs> I'm feeling quite blasted at the moment. I think the heat here is contributing to my uh, me being really, really freaking tired. Instead of the fourth set, I shouldn't feel that tired. I should be feeling tired at, like, at my last set. But I'm feeling this exhausted. I'm like, fuck. Because of the freaking heat and the sun here, I'm just like, bruh. And I ain't got a fan to really cool me down. I'm getting really freaking tired, guys. Let's go! Almost done. I think I got a couple more exercises to go. I think about three or four more exercises after this deadlift. And that should be good. And uh, one, two, three, peace out, let's go. Very volume as well. I couldn't do anything heavy at all because I was very sick. And then my. What else did I do? Write down notes down here. <laughs> um, so, what do I do? 
when I lose motivation. So throughout these two weeks, I lost motivation to work out just because I was very sick. I couldn't do anything, and you know, mentally and physically, you can't really do anything, guys. Um, what I did was I just, you know. I kept saying like, yo, you know, you're a bitch, aren't you? You gotta go to the gym, man. You're a bitch, aren't you, man? Are you a bitch? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the ways I deal with things. I mentally talk to my conscience and I just be like, bitch, do your shit, you know what I mean? Don't be a bitch and just do it. It's not even that bad, but yeah. So throughout this deadlift session, um, I felt really good. Couldn't go heavy because I usually go around like 137.5, 135, maybe 140s, depending on how I feel. But I dropped down to 120 just because I was still sick. Didn't want to go too heavy as much as possible. But um, how, also, how do I get back after like a long break, after a long ass break from being sick? So, generally, I would not, uh, even though I made the mistake, don't, don't do what I did. Don't go straight back into your normal normal um, workout program. You want to like slowly build up to it, and you know, you know, you may feel like you're down and back at square one. But I mean, in no time, about a week, two weeks time, you'll be back to normal. I mean, yeah, it's you can't think of it as like just because there's this two weeks off, it's it's the end of the world. You know, you you're gonna get your goal as long as you have one goal in your head you'll be like i'm going towards it and no matter what comes at me i'm gonna beat it i'm gonna be as fast as possible i'm gonna be as most, most efficient as possible and i'm gonna achieve my goals that's that's what you gotta say you know, just, there's not there's no point in like planning this and planning that if you if you don't have the motivation for it if you don't have the determination the motivation and and all of that What's the point? You know what I mean? Um, anyways, I did accessories. I think I, I did pen labels. I did uh, bent over row. I did a dumbbell one arm row, superset that with dumbbell hammer curls. And then I did hanging leg raise holding the rings. <laughs> did about three sets of ten, and that's about it. I'm trying to build my core up. Just because I've been noticing that I'm losing a lot of my lower back when I go really heavy to really push up the weight, and I feel as though we're losing the belt and relying on it too much to really keep my core really tight. So when I don't have it, I'm just shit. So I'm trying to incorporate some more core now. But you know what I mean? Peace out. Um, I hope this video is almost finished. And love y'all.